quick test video on bonding and structure. So there's a couple of exercises. The first one here, we've got six substances and we've got to give the formula and the structure type. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on for the answers and then we'll look at task two. So formulae first, ammonia, NH3, ammonium bromide, NH4Br, lithium is just Li, argon is just Ar, silicon dioxide, SiO2, and iron 2 hydroxide is FeOH twice. So structure type now, so ammonia is a simple covalent or molecular substance. Ammonium bromide is ionic, lithium metallic, argon is monatomic, so it goes around as single atoms, silicon dioxide has a giant covalent structure, and iron 2 hydroxide is ionic. So what we're going to do in the second task, it's linked to those six substances again, but now we've got to imagine we've got the substance in a solid state, and we've got to name the force or bond that has to be broken to get the substance to melt, and then name the type of particles between which the force or bond acts. So again, if you want to pause the video and then play on for the answers. So in ammonia, because you've got a hydrogen directly bonded to a nitrogen, it's got hydrogen bonds between its molecules, and so that's what needs to be broken when you melt it. Ammonium bromide, ionic remember, and so it's the ionic bond that needs to be broken. Lithium has that metallic structure, so it's the metallic bond. Argon has that monatomic structure, so it's just induced dipole-dipole intermolecular forces that's holding the atoms together. Silicon dioxide with its giant covalent structure, it's the covalent bond that needs to be broken. And iron 2 hydroxide, like ammonium bromide, it's the ionic bond. So what type of particles now is the force acting between? So in ammonia, the hydrogen bond acts between the NH3 molecules. In ammonium bromide, the ionic bonds exists between ammonium and bromide ions. In lithium, the metallic bond exists between lithium 1 plus ions and delocalized electrons. So in argon, those induced dipole-dipole intermolecular forces exist between argon atoms. Silicon dioxide, the covalent bond exists between silicon and oxygen atoms. And finally, the ionic bond in iron 2 hydroxide exists between Fe2 plus and OH minus ions.